Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today's video is something really cool. It's about how to apply a gradient map or split toning to your photos, but doing this within Photoshop and not actually doing it within Lightroom. Now, I was asked this question by one of our subscribers over on Instagram. They sent me a DM and they were like, look, how do I go ahead and do this? I know how to do it within Lightroom. And um, they didn't really fully understand why they needed to do it. Um, but they wanted to know if they can do it within Photoshop. So that's what this video is about, how to apply split toning to your photos within Photoshop. Um, it's essentially using gradient maps. Um, but before I dive into the video, guys, if you are someone that really wants to learn more about editing photos within Lightroom, because that's kind of more what this channel is about, editing photos within Lightroom, and you want to understand more of the advanced editing techniques, and you really want to develop your workflow within that, then I've put together an hour free training, totally free, you can go ahead and watch it. The link is down below in the description, um, where I'm going live, and I'm just teaching you through like a full edit of a photo. It's about an hour long, where I really go into the more advanced editing tips and tricks. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, the link's down below. And of course, if you want to trial our presets for free as well, that's also down there in the description. So um, as I said, I sent this Instagram, um, this message over Instagram, sent me a DM. So if you want to do that, my link's down below in the description as well. But here's what we do. We come down and we want to apply a gradient map. So you can just click gradient map here. And essentially, it's just going to apply this um, uniform gradient over the entire image. But don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. Um, so the first thing is you want to do is you want to click on the gradient there um, and then you can choose um, a gradient to apply to your image. Now usually you want to choose the two gradients um, colors, so that's for example violet and orange, um, which does give you a really cool effect to your photos. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start applying this one to our photos and then I'll go back and we'll choose our own colors and stuff. So split toning or gradient maps are really really useful to use for your photos because essentially what it does is it will like apply a uniform color theme or color palette to your photo and make it look a little bit more consistent and it's also really really strong and a great way to make sure all your photos match especially when you're posting on instagram and um, you know when you get a really nice uniform instagram theme is by getting your split toning and gradient maps for every single photo lots of photographers that i know do this um, a lot to really guarantee that all their photos match especially when they use identical colors for the photos. So without any further ado, let's just apply this here. So essentially what we do is just click OK here, um, and then we're just going to close this tab here. So essentially what you can see now is it's gone ahead and applied this purple to our shadows and applied this orange to all of our highlight areas, which is essentially all the split toning does. Now we've got a few options here. We can either go ahead and take down the opacity or the fill. Now, the opacity and fill do two very different things. So you can see if I bring down the opacity, it essentially just takes down, um, makes those colors kind of more see-through, but it does it uniformly over the entire image. So you can see here, that does a really cool effect. If I turn it off and on, it kind of gives that nice old fashioned um, purple and yellow look to the photo. And in itself, it's kind of almost a one click kind of preset color grade to the photo. Now, of course, you can take that opacity all the way down or you can leave it at a nice like 26%, uh, totally up to you. The other option is taking the fill down. Now the fill um, essentially just works in my mind a little bit better. So what it will do is it will just take down those, so it won't look too uniform. It'll keep the color in the darkest areas and the lightest areas, which kind of gives more of a full representation of what a split toning should do to your photos. Um, so you can see if I turn it off and on, it's really only applied it to the darkest and lightest areas and we've preserved this normal natural skin tone um, and like the lip colours and all that kind of stuff. We don't really add purple too much to the hair, um, we just do it to the darkest areas. So that's one thing you can do is you can apply your fill and stuff. Another really cool thing to do um, is you can come up and you can apply different blending modes. So for example, color burn sometimes works really, really well. Now, I know at the moment this looks absolutely crazy, but here's when you want to go ahead and take your fill down, um, right the way down to a few percent, and then you can see how much it affects your photo. It kind of really darkens down those shadows and adds a deep purple in there. So essentially, what I'm saying here is you can just go ahead and have an, like, an absolutely great time just playing around with different effects. Linear burn sometimes works a little bit better. Um, dark color, you know, all of these different things are a great idea to try. Now, personally, I like color burn um, and I put my fill around 10% if you wanted to do something like that to make a more kind of moody look. Now, if you leave it at normal, you can have the option, of course, of changing your colors. So, for example, let's say I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted purple on my highlights and then orange on my shadows we should just be able to click reverse and it will just flip it around and do the opposite. So now we've got 
orange on our shadows and purple on our highlights. Personally, those colors shouldn't, in my mind, that's not how you should do it. Your darker blues and greens should be your shadows and your lighter oranges, yellows, like those kind of pinks should be on your highlights. Um, so we're gonna go back to that. Now, you can also just change your own colors. So you click here on your purple on the little tab down here, choose your color. So for example, let's go down to a blue, see if we can choose like a, a marine blue. That's quite a nice one there. And then for our oranges, let's just take this up to, um, sorry about that. Let's just take this up to a bit of a yellow color. So let's just put that up here to see how that's gonna affect the image. Now this should, I think I've got it on preview, so it should just kind of update as I'm going along. So if I put like a gray there, you can see it covers the gray to the image. So you can do some really cool things like adding an ice blue to it as well, just to cool off the entire image. Um, might be quite a lot of fun. So let's try that, let's just try blue on both. Click OK, close that off, and then of course, we can just go back to our fill and just adjust this. So you can see we can make it more icy blue, um, and let's see what happens when we put color burn on there. That might make a really cool effect as well. So there we go, guys. That is just a really quick tip or trick, whatever you like to call it, um, about how to apply split tone into your photos, but doing it within Lightroom by utilizing gradient maps. So hopefully you've learned something from this video. I know it wasn't super, super in depth and it wasn't a Lightroom tutorial, but um, please let me know if you enjoyed it by clicking the thumbs up button down below. And of course, if you want to go ahead and learn more about editing within Lightroom, go ahead and check out my free training and of course um, our presets if you're interested in them. But I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow with a new video. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.